Starfall. Hey guys, welcome back to Starfall Sabers. My name is Nick, and I've got another saber reveal for you today. Okay guys, I wanted to show you this saber and this will also act as the instructional video for the new owner. Now the customer who purchased this from me uh, originally commissioned me for that cross guard saber, the Jedi version cross guard saber and the, uh, along with the Sith uh, companion um, that I was able to get done before the holiday crunch and get that out to him. And then I had built this, uh, I believe, early January and he had messaged me and wanted to get it installed and take it off my hands. So it's it's kind of like a Shoto saber because you have the just the single grip here. You can grip it up here but it gets a little uncomfortable with the uh, the claw here. Made out of um, steel, stainless steel and solid brass for the neck piece here and it also has an aluminum uh, blade holder, one inch blade holder. This is a, a blade plug that I just made for the Sabre as well. Now to get access to the Sabre, this is running a Nano V4 with power extender, so you can have, uh, and then RGB as well. So you can program the Sabre to have whatever colors you want, one per sound font. There's three sound fonts. Um, however, we have it set up as uh, red, green, and blue. Now to get access to the saber, uh, grip it up here and unscrew the pummel here. This is if you want to charge the saber and also, or when you need to charge the saber and then if you want to get access to the SD card to change sound fonts, color profiles. I'll take that off here. So you have your recharge port here. Uh, now for my customer, uh, you can use the same charger uh, the two chargers that I uh, sent with the, the two Sabre Pair Commission, you can use one of those to charge up the Sabre. Your speaker here, and then if you look right in here, you can get access to the SD card with a pair of uh, pliers. You can also carefully wiggle this back and then, and then uh, push it back in to secure it, but this chassis is really secure in here right now. Pummel vented for sound here. You don't have to over tighten that, just kind of snug it up. Um, this is your power button right here. One tap wakes up the saber. You hear the boot sound here. Another tap powers it on. Long press to uh, shut it off. You don't have to jam on this switch, it's very sensitive. Um, so you don't have to like really push it down, it's, it's good to go. So let's get a blade in here, I'll take the uh, blade plug out. This is a, a very tight fitting blade holder. So uh, get it started and then you always want to rotate uh, clockwise on the blade until it's seated. Okay, it has a nice, um, about an inch and a half, two inches. Actually, yeah, it's like two inches for the blade holder. So this is a hard dueling saber for sure. Just be mindful of the claw. You don't want to jack anyone up with that. So you got your green. Uh, push and hold till you hear the second beep and release and that'll get you into the next sound font. Swing it around right now. 
without hitting something. And then push and hold. Now, if you push and hold this and release after the first beep, you'll go into mute mode where you can have all the blade effects with no sound. So you still have all the flash and clash, just no sound. Long press the power button to shut it off and it resets it. So then you'll have sound when you turn it back on. All right, and the final sound font, push and hold, two beeps, one, two. retention screw again clockwise on the blade as you pull out and it'll keep everything all um, tight and screwed together get the blade out of the way here all right so this will be shipping off in a couple days and want to thank everyone again for watching this video, all the likes and the subscribes. Uh, also hit me up on Instagram at starfall underscore sabers. Oh, also Rob from Ciroc um, Sabers did the install on this. He did a really great job. And a gentleman named Hunter did the 3D printed uh, chassis. So again, thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.